Welcome. In this video, we'll look at step-by-step -step solutions to selected problems on sound, sound intensity levels, and resonance. Problem. What is the intensity in watts per meter squared of 85 decibel sound? Solution. First, write down what is given, and in this problem, uh, the sound intensity level is given, and the symbol for sound intensity level is beta, so beta equals 85.0 decibels. Also, we know that <clears throat> the threshold intensity Denoted I sub O uh, equals 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. The relationship between <laughs> threshold intensity and intensity level uh, is given by this equation <clears throat> beta equals 10 log of. I divide by the threshold intensity I naught, and take note the base of this log is ten. So our goal is to find uh, I. So how do we isolate uh, I uh, in the fr this expression? The first step will be to divide both sides by ten. And we would end up with, with uh, beta divided by 10 equals log i divided by i naught. Okay, and remember the base is 10. So this <coughs> means <coughs> that i divided by i naught is equal to 10 raised to the power beta divided by 10. <clears throat> this is following the definition of the log function. Note that uh, log of a equals c simply means that uh, a is equal to 10 raised to the power c. That's the definition of the log function. So the next step, i equals i naught 10 to the power beta divided by 10. So this is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared, 10 to the power 8, 85 decibels divided by 10. And the final answer is... 3.16 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per meter squared. Problem. The warning tag on a lawnmower states that it produces noise at a level of 91 decibels. What is this in watts per meter squared? Solution. Again, we're given the sound intensity level uh, beta equals uh, 91.0 decibels and we know the threshold intensity is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared and we know that beta is equal to 10 times the log of i divided by i sub o. So this means that beta divided by 10 equals log of i over i sub o. And this means uh, i divided by i sub o equals 10 to the power 
theta divided by 10, implying that i equals i l 10 to the power beta divided by 10. So if we plug in the numbers, we get i equals 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared times 10 to the power 91.0 divided by 10 and this uh, gives us 1.26 watts per meter squared. Another problem. What sound intensity level in decibels is produced by earphones that create an intensity of 4 times 10 to the minus 2 watts per meter squared? Solution. So given we know the intensity of sound created by the earphones so i equals 4.00 times 10 to the minus 2 watts per meter squared and recall i sub o the threshold intensity equals 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared and beta which is the intensity level is given by 10 times the log of i divided by i sub o. So this is equal to 10 times the log of 4.00 times 10 to the minus 2 watts per meter squared divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared and therefore uh, we get beta uh, equal to 106 decibels so this means that a sound of intensity 4 times 10 to the minus 2 watts per meter squared has an intensity level of 106 decibels. Problem. What is the ratio of the intensities of two sounds having sound levels of 30 decibels and 10 decibels respectively? Solution. So, uh, given we have beta 1 equals uh, 30 decibels, and we have beta 2 equals 10 decibels. And the problem uh, is asking for the ratio of the intensities I1 divided by I2. What is this ratio? So one approach is to find I1 and I2, given beta 1 and beta 2, and then find uh, the ratio. So we can write beta 1 using the uh, equation beta equals 10 log of i divided by i naught. We can write beta 1 equals 10 log of i1 divided by i0. So this means that i1 equals uh, 10, so i1 over i0 equals 10 to the power beta 1 divided by 10, which means I1 equals I0 
uh, 10 to the power beta 1 divided by 10. Given that beta 1 is 30, so uh, we, we therefore have uh, I1 equals I sub O 10 to the power 30 divided by 10, which is I sub O 10 to the power 3. Similarly, we can write I, we can write beta 2 equals 10 log of I2 divided by I sub O. And following the same steps uh, above, we will obtain I2 equals I O 10 to the power beta 2 divided by 10, which is uh, I sub O 10 to the power 10 decibels divided by 10, which is 1, 10 to the power 1. And therefore, beta 1, sorry, therefore uh, I1 divided by I2 equals I sub O 10 to the power 3 divided by I sub O 10 to the power 1 and this is equal to 100 <coughs> so therefore uh, the ratio between two sounds of 30 decibels and 10 decibels is 100 or you could say uh, a 30 decibel sound is 100 times more intense than a 10 decibel sound. Problem. A showy custom built car has two brass horns that are supposed to produce the same frequency but actually emit 263.8 and 264.5 Hz. What bit frequency is produced? Solution. So given we have uh, F1 equals 2, 6, 3.8 hertz and F2 equals 264.5 hertz by definition the bit frequency F sub B is equal to the absolute difference between the two uh, given frequencies. So absolute value 263.8 minus 264.5 and this uh, gives 0 0.7 hertz. Problem. What is the fundamental frequency of a 0 0.672 meter long tube? open at both ends on a day when the speed of sound is 344 meters per second. B. What is the frequency of its second harmonic? Solution. So given we have uh, the length of the tube is 0 0.672 meters and uh, note the tube is uh, open at both ends. We also know the speed of sound uh, to be 344 meters per second. 
So for a tube that is open at both ends, the fundamental or the resonant frequencies are given by Fn equals to N times V divided by 2L. Yeah, N equal to 1, 2, 3, for the first, second, third harmonics. And the first harmonic is the fundamental. And so the fundamental frequency, F1, that's the first harmonic, would be equal to 1 times V, uh, v over 2L, which is... 1 uh, times 344 meters per second to 0 0.672 meters. And this is equal to 256 hertz. This is part A. Now for part B, the frequency of the second harmonic corresponds to F2. So F2 equals 2 into V over 2L, which is the same as 2 times F1, because F1 is just equal to V divided by 2L. So 2 into 2, 5, 6 hertz, and that is 5, 1, 2 hertz. Problem. If a tube closed at one end has a fundamental frequency of 32 hertz, what are its first three overtones? Solution. This problem involves a tube closed at one end. We know that uh, the lowest frequency, the fundamental, F1 equals 32 hertz. And we also know that for a tube that is closed at both at one end, uh, F n, that the frequency of the nth harmonic is equal to n times v divided by four l, okay, and in this case, uh, n is equal to one, three, five, seven and so on. So F1 equals V over 4L which is equal to 32.0 Hertz as given. And F2 sorry there's no F2 because the next um, harmonic is the third. So F3 is equal to 3V divided by 4L, which is 3 times F1. The next harmonic, F5, is equal to 5V over 4L, which is 5F1. F7 is equal to 7V over 4L which is 7F1. F3 equals 96 hertz. F5 equals 
So this is the first overturn. This is the second overturn, and this is the third overturn. Problem: What lens should a tube open at both ends have to produce a fundamental frequency of 110 hertz on a day when the speed of sound is 3.43 meters per second? Solution: We begin by writing uh, what is given, so we know that. The tube is open at both ends. We also know the speed of sound is 3.43 meters per second and the fundamental frequency, that's the frequency of the first harmonic, is 110 hertz. Now we know that the frequencies for a tube open at both ends are given by the general relation n times v divided by 2l with n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So F1 is equal to 1 V divided by 2L, which means that 2L times F1 equal to V, and L is equal to V divided by to F1. So L is equal to 343 meters per second divided by 2 into 110 hertz. 1.6 meters. Problem. Find the length of an organ pipe close at one end that produces a fundamental frequency of 256 hertz when air temperature is 18 degrees celsius. Solution In this problem, we know that the tube, we're dealing with a tube that is closed at one end We also know the fundamental frequency, so F1 equals 256 hertz. And we know the temperature, eighteen degrees Celsius. Now you may be wondering why we need the temperature. Notice that the frequencies for the different harmonics for a tube closed at one end are given by the equation Fn equals n times v divided by 4l uh, with n equal to 1, 3, 5, and so on. Therefore, we need to know the speed of sound and of course the speed of sound depends on temperature by the following equation. So V equals 331 meters per second square root of T in Kelvin divided by 273 Kelvin.
So in this problem, uh, 18 degrees Celsius is the same as uh, 18 plus 273 Kelvins, which is 291 Kelvins. So therefore, the speed of sound at 18 degrees Celsius will be equal to 331 meters per second, square root of 291K, 273K. And that is equal to 341.7 meters per second. Therefore, from the relation F1 equals V divided by 4L with N equal to 1, we have an L equal to V divided by 4F1, so 341.7 meters per second divided by 4 times 256 hertz and this is equal to 0 0.334 meters